so good to be here. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, wonderful uh, to be here at the Catfish International Resort and Casino. <laughs> wonderful establishment. It's the place I choose to play whenever I come into town. I love to sing, by the way. Um, got a few albums out, I'm not going to lie. They're pretty great. This one's uh, Atomic Thrust. Uh, it's available on Spotify, but it's available here tonight as well. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, artists sell their merch after the show. I like to sell mine during my show. Twenty dollars. <laughs> All right, well, it's here if you want it. Uh, Mate, I was always jealous of you because you gigged at the ESPY, which is like a comedy institution. I remember the, one of my first experiences was like so nervous because there were some names there that I'd seen around or on telly or something. And then there was this guy who was gonna be on and he was just pounding a burger. And I just didn't understand how someone could pound a burger before going on stage. Cause I was just, just so nervous. <laughs> I wanna know how the Oliver Clark character on stage evolved. Were you doing this at the first gig? No, I was wearing jeans and a shirt, but I always wanted to have a costume. Even if they don't remember your name, they'll go, I love that guy or I hated that guy in the suit. <laughs> So I always wanted to, and then I noticed as soon as I put on the suit, the jokes made way more sense. You'll have to excuse me, I was going to do a song, but I forgot to do my vocal warm-up, so if you want to... Yes! Hey! Yes! Yes! Hey! Yes! Yeah! Hey! Hey! Yes! Yes! Hey! 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 Sorry, I just had something in my throat. <laughs> and now my vocal warm-up. <laughs> I, the first ever suit I got was hilarious. I knew I wanted a blue suit. Uh, the attendant goes, we don't have anything like that here, but if you go down Swan Street, Richmond, you'll find a Baker's Delight. Turn right down the laneway, you'll find a grill door with a phone number on it. Call the number and ask for Mr. Crystal. That doesn't sound real. It, no, so I went, this is an adventure. This is amazing. So went down, they called the number. Uh, I get an old Italian sounding woman on the phone. And I went, oh, is Mr. Crystal there, please? And she goes, Mr. Crystal. <laughs> She's calling him Mr. Crystal. <laughs> right. He's walking there, opens up the door with his big keys. We go upstairs and it's at the top of Baker's Delight where he has, it's probably about as big as this room, full of 70s gear in its wrapper. Like legit brand new stuff, down to underwear, ski one suits. So I got a whole suit, Very nice. everything for like a hundred bucks. Incredible. And then how many suits since then? I reckon about six or seven. <laughs> oh, you've got a back spasm. <laughs> oh no, it's just my album. Uh... <laughs> Warming up the pipes, ladies and gentlemen. A fantastic album. Available tonight for... Two dollars. <laughs> well, it's here if you want it. <laughs> but here's what I find, when I write a bit, if I'm laughing uncontrollably when I'm writing it, I know it's gonna work on stage. And normally it's something that is really left of center and I'm taking a big risk in doing it. The, the comics and bar staff who have seen the act <laughs> enough times to know what's going on, and just if I get laughter from either of those two groups, I'm sorted. <laughs> oh, show business, I love it. It's a sweaty business though, I tell you, and rightfully so. It's the old showbiz adage. If you're not sweating, you're not working hard enough. So I bring a sweat rag every time to mop the brow. Doesn't have to be anything, this is just a sports sock. <laughs> but like any good uh, entertainer, <clears throat> you mop your brow and you give it to a fan. That's got COVID all over it. Now, Ollie, I know you're used to playing stadiums, thousand seaters, etc. But what's it like in the smaller rooms? Do you think mm. sometimes the reaction? Because it is a big character on stage. I think it's how you set it up. Because when gigs don't go well, it's generally because of that. <laughs> so what do you like about performing up here at Catfish? Is that where we are? Um, <laughs> oh, I had fun getting in uh, today. I'd I've been in my RAV4. <laughs> All terrain vehicle. RAV4 two door. But the great thing is, thank you. Someone knows their automobiles. 
What's that? Who's got one? Is it a two door? Yeah. Right. Now you're probably the same as me. Whoa, it's two doors, but that back door opens like that. That's three yeah. doors. Does you're getting two doors, garage? three doors for the. Would you what? Does it fit in your four meter twenty two centimeter garage? How did you know the size of my garage? Hecklers can add to it. The rawness of a night. I swear that's her. Was that that same woman who was yelling out? <laughs> no, 